Hey, welcome back to the channel. Still the same day, uh, Friday. So, got home this morning at 11, 10-ish. Wow, and I've slept four hours. Can't sleep anymore, I really wanna know what's going on. So, got the shop clean. We're gonna get the truck in. If you haven't done so, slide on over, like, and subscribe. Um, yeah, especially to see what the carnage of, is of this motor, so. little background on this so this is a 2016 duramax denali with the lml in it um motor stock got big turbo cp3 conversion 10 millimeter pump as you see it's all all the piping's blue up pipes down pipes exhaust uh mishimoto intercooler um it's dropped in the back two inches. It's all color matched. Danville tuning. Um, yeah, so I knew the motor eventually was going to hate this setup because, it, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of extra on it. So either I'm going with it's just years of abuse from having big turbo and more fuel. Um, and a buddy also said that he's been seeing more and more crack pistons from stock injectors getting stuck and then cracking the piston um so i'm not exactly sure which way i think it will go i'm just hoping when i get this apart um it's just a piston and a half and not destroyed a bunch of stuff but yeah i'm gonna tear into this probably gonna leave out a lot of the little stuff um as far as taking it apart and just show you guys the carnage and some major details so <sighs> not how i wanted to spend my day i should have been in i should have already been on my way back from illinois but i planned this one and that was my issue every time i plan something it all falls apart morning didn't get much action yesterday i was really focused on getting this front clip off so here i am gotta get the motor up today you can see all the oil that came up through. Um, all the pressure. Crankcase pressure and whatnot. So, got some of the harnesses taken off. Got to pull all that off. Um, got to pull the down pipe. Uh, yeah, disconnect the transmission. So, I had plenty of people tell me I should have taken the cab off, which would be great. I would take the cab off. It's quicker, easier. But I don't own a lift. So... Picking the whole cab and front end up without a lift is pretty challenging. So maybe someday. But yeah, hopefully we get to see what is wrong with it today. Slow process. I was wondering what the, all the oil was on the side, why it was all out there and not on the other side. Well, I just pulled the filler off and you can see right there, it's missing a whole chunk of the O-ring. So there was enough back pressure in there or crankcase pressure, I guess, that it blew half the O-ring out. And that's why all the oil ended up on that side, so. That explains one thing. It's not a good thing, but it explains it. out Doesn't. thanks to dan <laughs> we got it andy here too local celebrity usually you guys How seen him you? before all this for a picture of the fucking transmission you know hey watch the language but look at that
Got it out. Got it set. Time to pull the heads. And see what really goes on. Oh, that was my gun. Yeah. Never done this. Andy hasn't either, so. I must have been like excited. Yeah, it should be good now. Nothing on this side. Nothing? Oh, no, there's a crack piston. Crack piston. Hey, everybody. Fucking Cracked piston. That's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> Only one cracked piston. That's, that's totally fine. Yep. Well, upon further review, let me pull my flashlight out. On this side, I got two pistons that are cracked. You can see that one blatantly. That one's got a little crack down in the bottom. Can't see it as well. And all four of these are cracked. So, that's got a crack in the bottom. That's got a crack in the top. That's got a pretty decent crack in the top I know. and that's got a crack in the top so yeah she's lived a tough life but I knew it was going to come someday so the big turbo EG, EGTs get hot towing a trailer all the time more fuel stock motor so yeah this little guy so I guess we're going to rebuild and I got some plans, but I got to see how the financials work and I got to see what I want, what path I want to take as far as what I'm putting into it and what I want to get out of it. Give you a little bit of an overview of what's going on with this thing. So got it pretty much apart. It's going to go to the machine shop. Um, yeah. Let's see. Here's the piston that gave me the biggest issue. So as you see. I don't know if you can see. Yep, there's the hole. The crack goes all the way around. Both ways. Lucky it didn't crack off on the bottom and become two different pieces. And make for a headache. So what I got in store for this, um, I just bought a bunch of parts from my buddy, my college buddy. Um, he started a business. I build my own diesel. So if you're on social media or anything, slide on over, give them a like. They're going to have a website coming out, um, much like anybody else, as far as purchasing parts. Um, two big things that are different. They have a one-year warranty over what the uh, manufacturer's warranty is. They also will have a network of shops that can actually install those parts, so you get a general idea of what that quote is going to be um, to install the parts, what it's going to cost for the parts. Um, so for people that don't have the mechanical ability to actually install it, but like some of the stuff that gets put on trucks, the aftermarket stuff, the stuff I put on, a lot of it made the truck more reliable and a lot of it made the truck a lot faster, which you find the weak spots. So <clears throat> a lot of comments, I should have bought a different vehicle. I would put that, this truck when it's running up against any other truck, as far as towing trailers, um daily driving just all all around awesome truck so it rides amazing um clearly towing trailers on on the hot tune wasn't the best idea all the time but it's always nice when you merge onto a highway and you're at highway speed with 20,000 pounds behind you so that's where I'm at but I just purchased a bunch of stuff for this so overall we're going to put a Wagner alternating cam in it. Um, the big thing with that takes a lot of load off the front uh, of the crank, which is known to snap with that. So they uh, alternate which cylinders actually are firing. Um, so I'm excited for that to give that some more longevity on the crank side of it. Um, got some push rods, some valve springs, um, connecting rods, new pistons. Well, Slightly used pistons with connecting rods, so it was a hell of a deal. Um, but they're upgraded, much much better pistons than factory pistons. So all the hardware, 
Um, doing 100 over injectors. I'm going to freshen that turbo up. It's two years old. Um, head studs, bottom end studs, all the gaskets. Um, yeah, deep pan. There's some other stuff. I can't remember what else I bought. Bought a lot of stuff last night. So I'm excited for that build. Like I said, um, if you're on Instagram, uh, I know they're on Instagram. I don't know if they got a Facebook page. I'll have to check that. Um, slide on over. Give I build my own diesel. I build my diesel. Um, a like. And I'm excited to get the parts going and get this thing back together. So I'd really like to get this out to the machine shop um, once everything comes in. And then I can start building that back together uh, and get it out. Because I do... Still got to go to Pennsylvania. I got parts to pick up. I'd like to look at some tractors and some stuff. Um, I still got to buy a container trailer, which they sold. I wish I didn't blow my truck up because I would have bought one and we would be going to North Carolina right now. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed me destroying stuff so far. And when we're going to get this truck back together, it's going to be an absolute animal. So the next week or so, we should have the stuff to the machine shop i'll keep you guys updated the skid steer motor actually is done the one that's been sitting in the driveway um we told them no rush and it's been kind of a pain we don't we don't need it but we like it so it's actually done so i'm going to pick that up which means we're going to put that back together which means that's no longer going to be sitting in the driveway as a yard ornament but yeah thanks for watching this video um if you haven't done so slide on over give it a thumbs up um make sure you subscribe so yeah have a good one